academic opportunities um, that each one of our academies provides for our kids. We're excited about the semester ahead and want to thank everybody for being part of the Littleton family. We continue to be really proud of our students for supporting those in need during the holidays with food drives, toy drives, and other events. And I shared some of those activities at our meeting last month, but there were many more. Collier's Student Council donated 427 self-care items to the Phoenix Rescue Mission. Country Place Leadership Academy worked with community members to support a family who unexpectedly lost their father with food and Christmas gifts and decorations for the holidays. And Fine Arts uh, was very successful in their Crush Hunger food drive. Students and family members donated just over 3,000 items, and Phoenix College had to make two trips to pick everything up. Trace Real Service Learning Academy National Junior Honor Society and Student Council held a Toys for Tickets campaign during the month of December. And the admission ticket into the family movie night and school dance was a donation of a toy, so NJHS and Student Council were able to donate over 100 toys to Arizona Children's Association. The Littleton STEM Academy Student Council held its second annual family dance, and their PTA sponsored a holiday shop that earned over $2,000 in that event, provided students some opportunity to purchase gifts for their friends and families, as well as using everyday math skills. Uh, teachers held their second annual holiday restaurant with social groups that consisted of students in general education, resource, and cross-categorical self-contained programs. That collaborative group has worked to help students address a variety of language, social, emotional, and behavior goals. Um, over the quarter, these exceptional students gathered once a week to plan and practice their roles as greeters and waiters and chefs to teachers and staff. Um, I was able to attend this year, and the students did a fine job. I think the menu was pretty heavy on sugar, um, but we're really proud of their progress and their social behavior and communication. Our exploring potential students um, from, our four, uh, from four of our schools participated in the first Lego League competition at Carl Hayden High School. So those gifted kids from Collier Country Place, Estrella Vista, and Littleton worked collaboratively in teams of various grade levels. Our students had the opportunity to learn about engineering design process, find solutions to real world problems, design, build, and code, and program specific tasks, and call your students placed in the top 10 of schools from across the region. That experience gained um, trial and error, perseverance, teamwork, core values that'll help all those students build stronger futures. Our first semester Read Better, Be Better Leaders and Readers graduated at the end of last semester. Each of those leaders and readers earned certificates and were awarded books. Staff and students celebrated with stories and refreshments. And our next group of leaders and readers are beginning their reader journey starting this week. Astoria Vista's Palm and Cheer Squad participated in the Glow and Monroe Parade last month in Buckeye. And they performed some of their school cheers and brought their hawk spirit to that neighborhood, and there were stunts and lots of walking and applauding um, from the crowd who was watching. Uh, we're also really excited to recently learn the Maricopa County School Superintendent's Office has selected our own Mr. Adahaney, principal at Quentin STEM Health Sciences Academy, as a semi-finalist for the Maricopa County Exemplary Principal Award from a pool of more than 1,100 principals. Uh, Mr. Haney's leadership is distinguished by evidence of significantly increasing student growth, retaining teachers, cultivating a supportive and collaborative culture of high expectations. Uh, Mr. Haney will now have to compete in another round at the end of this month, and we're looking forward to him becoming a finalist. Our uh, student enrollment, which has been trending upwards, um, and our current roll uh, call adds close to 150 students more this year than this time last year, and just crossing the 6,300 mark. Um, we're again working to round up little ones and have them ready for the upcoming school year. Um, messaging started in the Littleton Link last month, and principals are reposting and encouraging families to enroll now. Uh, parents need to bring birth certificate, shot record, identification, proof of address, all of those things to enroll students to get their little ones signed up. 
And for convenience for our families, we're going to designate some dates at the Welcome Center. I'll be staying open until 7 p.m. Uh, for working parents. And uh, our Welcome Center staff will be set up and ready also to process kindergarten registrations during school choice night. And Littleton's fifth annual school choice night kicks off with a choice night on January 27th. And so that is not very far away now, just a couple weeks. And that'll be right here at the Little Down, uh, or the Underdown uh, Learning Center Auditorium. And students and their families can continue to have the opportunity to choose the program that suits their interests, skills, and passions from our six different academies and comprehensive school and an alternative school program. So uh, we're planning to be able to help uh, working families with transportation again next year to take students to their school of choice and uh, to the Boys and Girls Club, which is across campus from us here if needed. Choice enrollment incentives for students and families who attend the event will include items such as lunch, snack coupons, and homework passes, so kids, you're gonna wanna be there. Our district's proud of our facilities, the great job our crews do in keeping them looking sharp. Facility interior and exterior surface ceiling is essential to long-lasting community asset, and, we do the bulk of that work over our breaks. We just added a fresh coat of paint to this facility, and our employees take a lot of pride in representing our community well. Um, you may have, uh, you would you have guessed that the largest freezer to house food service products in our uh, district, Littleton STEM Academy, is actually older than about half of our teachers? Our hard-working maintenance staff is kept in uh, good working condition uh, for over 28 years. And we applied for a grant from the school facility board to replace it, and we were awarded $54,000 by the state to be one of the first districts to receive a grant for approval of a walk-in freezer cooler. And its improved functionality in the new freezer is a real staff pleaser, totally modern. Um, the Littleton Education Foundation is hosting a free first-come, first-served movie night for 25 employees from each of our eight sites uh, coming up at the Harkins Theater. And the appreciation event is going to feature Star Wars, The Rise of Skywalker. And if you haven't, I mean, who hasn't seen it yet, right? Um, anyway, the theater is reserved for Littleton uh, staff, and the force will be with them this week. Soccer season is moving along smoothly. Students are playing well and learning to work as a team. The games resumed this week, um, and playoffs will begin January 28th, the championship game on February 4th, and game schedules are published on the website, so you can go look at those and come cheer our players. Uh, finally, in closing, I'd like to express our appreciation to Edward Bramham, Jr., um, with Dick Sporting Goods for the $5,000 donation in sports equipment to Littleton STEM Computer Science Academy, and that's all I have.